Dan from Griffin's Occasional Series in YouTube tutorials and today we're doing MATLAB and a statistical test and we're looking at Fisher's exact test. So we have here from this website a diagram of which one to use or which test to use. So it's categories, it's categorical, it's nominal, it's unpaired and the expected uh, number in each cell is less than five, so we're using Fisher's exact test. Now, I, assume, I know there's a lot there, but just for speed, I assume you know this. And just to go there, we're taking this example, if you want to read a little bit more, uh, we're looking from uh, this American University here. I think it's Penn State, but anyway, it's PSU, just to give, yeah, Penn State. So this is the original question here. Uh, the lady, Lady Muriel, uh, I reckon she could tell whether it was tea and milk or milk and tea. Now, for a lot of people, this doesn't matter. But if you live in Ireland or England, this is a very important thing, whether you put the tea first and then the milk or the milk and then the tea. So uh, Fisher did the test here. Uh, the tea and the milk. And the lady said uh, three times two first, one and then the milk, and then one and then three. So the rows are fixed by the expand, they're the knowns. So the rows are the knowns, and the columns are the dependent variable. And H0 is the lady has no discerning ability. In other words, she's just making it up as she goes along. Okay, so H0 is there's no link between rows and columns. HA, there is a link between rows and columns. And I'm leaving out the theory here of the hypergeometric distribution. I'm just going to do it straight in MATLAB. I've the source file is there, but I'm just going to look at it in here in the, my web browser. So I've tidied up. I've given you credit where I've taken these notes from Penn State. H0, there is no association, the lady is guessing, and HA, there is an association between rows and columns. That's a just little typo there. I create the table in MATLAB like so. And just one thing to note, if you're doing this yourself, uh, the variable names cannot have a space. So you have to say lady says T with no spaces. Okay, and you carry out the command like so, Fisher test X. And I've put in some comments here. Uh, it just returns, there's the table that I created. So here is created by the table command. And then the H equals Fisher test, that's zero or one. And I've, heavily commented here so it's zero so you do not reject an null hypothesis so another what you're saying is the lady is guessing or she's making it up as she goes along that's what we're saying and the default is a five percent level of significance okay so the smaller the value of p the greater the evidence for rejecting the null hypothesis and also the greater the level of p the the greater the evidence for accepting the null hypothesis now, if you just do the default command, like there, Fisher test X, it doesn't tell you what the probability is, but if we do more control here, so we have, here we are, Fisher test X, tail, left, right, left, and right tailed, uh, the alpha, the level is significant, and it's 1%. Same thing as before, H0 equals zero. So we're accepting the null hypothesis. The lady is making up as it goes along. And the probability here is 4857. Now, the legal eyed amongst you will see that 4857 is not the same answer as we got here, 0 0.0229. This is because MATLAB uses a correction factor. Some people say you should use the correction factors, and others say you shouldn't. But just for the default, anyway, the way MATLAB works, it, it uses this correction factor, and we get a probability of 48.57. And 48.57, 48.57% is much bigger than 5%. So we have very strong reason to accept the null hypothesis the lady was making it up. 
Okay, so hope that helps. Thanks very much for listening.